welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be the nursery tour that I'm gonna do for you today. Finally, it's here. Finally, we're done with this bedroom. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda go over what the room looks like and I'll show it section by section. You'll see my animals in here because they just always have to follow me around. But just like a overview of what it looks like. This is how it looks, his crib with the mountains. And then we got his gallery wall with his dresser, changing station. And then on this side, it's just gonna be the rocking chair by the window and his closet. Okay, so here's his crib. This is the one that we picked up from Target, the rustic gray, the one that they usually keep on display. And then I just have um, these blankets on here. This is a customized blanket that I got as a gift. And then this is his other blanket for his crib, but I haven't done it yet, as you can see. Um, I haven't done his bed yet, but I do have his sheet ready and washed to go. I'll just do it when he comes home. And then I just have my bags in here for the hospital. So that's his crib. And then above his crib, we have his name that my husband made for my baby shower. So we put it there on the wall. Then I got the mountains in the back that we made as well. I will be doing a time-lapse video of the room being remodeled so you can see that. And then here in this little side wall, I just picked up these shelves. Pretty much a lot of the stuff I got was from Hobby Lobby when they were 50 off. So I just have a little artwork here and some artwork there. And then the ultrasound photo, that was my first ultrasound photo when he was just a little peanut. There's a little piggy bank from um, Target. And I do have his ultrasounds back here. I'm just waiting to get some picture frames so that I could put some picture frames over here on that side. And this was my baby shower um, invite. And this is the back of it, super cute. I want to frame that as well. And then here in this corner, I just have a little basket that I got for my shower with his toys in it. Um, so the bear and the bath toys did come with the basket and then I just added my own little toys in there and whatever else he had. So for now, that's all the toys he has. And then here in this corner, I have this little swing that I picked up from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just stuck this little blanket layer, a bear. That was his first little bear, so I got him that. And then here is the gallery wall with the changing table area. And I'm not sure if I posted another video, but this dresser was brown and I got it for $25 off of someone and we repainted it gray. So that worked out perfectly and it saves so much money if you could just refurnish furniture. So I will show you what's in that in a few, but here is the changing section. I just have all this wall art. Like I said, I picked up everything from Hobby Lobby. And I just stuck this little ultrasound of him. And then I also have the changing pad here with this mountain cover. I have the plastic on it just because I want to keep everything um, that he's going to be laying on covered still so it doesn't get dust and then here I have the bottle not the bottle warmer the wipe warmer from Prince Lionheart and then I have hand sanitizer so we can sanitize our hands before touching his booty and then I also have this jar full of pacifiers I already sanitized them all okay so right here I have the baby caddy where I keep all the essentials for changing and baths. So I had picked this up at TJ Maxx for $12.99 and it was the only one that I saw and I picked it up 
and ever since then I haven't seen it anything like that at all so I'm glad I got that when I did so in here I just have his newborn diapers ready to go so that way it's easy to changing and then I just sorry it's thundering right now I live in Florida so as you can see it's nice and sunny out it just poured like crazy and now it's gonna go back to being sunny but anyway um, I just have this covering the diapers. This is what his bed sheet came in, so I just cover it up so no dust gets on those diapers. So here I just have the essentials that I'm going to need for him, like diaper rash cream, I have two different brands. I have his little baby perfume, um, some baby lotion, Q-tips, um, just some more lotions, and then just like baby little tools, so I just have that in there. This is just like a little sample of lotion. I got boogie wipes and like a pacifier clip so I haven't opened any of that yet but I just have that there for the time being okay so now for the drawers so in his first drawer I just have diapers this is all newborn here on this side and then I believe this starts to go to ones so that's extra so when that starts to empty out then I can just fill it up so this is where I have the diapers, easy access. So the second drawer under the diapers is where all of his receiving blankets are and blankets. This right here is his bed sheet that I washed. I just need to put it on there. But like I said, this is just all of the receiving blankets that he has. So that's just that. And the last drawer, it's pretty much the little junk drawer where I have items that I still need to um, put out like here's his little monthly calendar and just some extra things in there that so this is where I keep his clothes right here is gonna be his newborn onesies and zero to three months I believe most of the smaller ones and then here I just have some birth cloths and little hats for him to wear then I have all of his bibs in this section here. Mostly bandana bibs, but yeah, that's where they're going. Here I have all of his little pants. And then here I have more onesies, and this starts going up to three months to nine months, so it starts changing, but that's what I have in that drawer. And these baskets right here are actually from the Dollar Tree. So I got two different sizes, this length and then these. So that's actually not bad. If you want some affordable storage, just go ahead and hit the Dollar Tree and see what size your drawers are to make it work. Okay, so underneath that drawer, I have his towels here on this side. All of his towels here. This little basket, again, these baskets are from the Dollar Tree. These are all of his washcloths here. I got a variety of them. And then here I have his socks different sizes and just a couple of mittens in there and then this basket back, back here is his little shoes so for now that's what we have in there so that is what's inside of his changing table dresser very simple when I get more when there's more I can organize it even better and just add more items to it but right now it's just simple it's organized to how I want it and that's pretty much it so here on this side we have another little side wall with his closet and then here is the little rocking chair which my husband actually found this rocking chair at a garage sale it was brown we repainted it white the only thing that I need to do is buy new cushions for it I'm gonna get some gray ones to match his room so for now I just have this navy arrow throw blanket on here so once I get the gray cushions, that will look perfect. So yeah, that's that little section. So here I just have this little mountain plaque with my cat. She passed away in March. So um, I really wanted her in here. And then I just have these little baseball items here. And I just stuck this hat underneath this little um, monitor for um, carbon monoxide. So it will beep and go red. Sound off an alarm. if anything like that ever happens 
And then I just have this little arrow hanging hook that I got from Hobby Lobby, so that's where he has his little robe with his name on it. We just got another robe here, and then his little Mets jacket. So we just have that there on that side. And then here on top of the door, we just have this little sign that says, don't wake the bear. So for this side, just on this little side wall, I just have this little ABC canvas art that I found. And then in navy, it does the I love you. Don't mind my dog if he barks, he's looking outside. And then I just have this um, picture frame here of Odell Becca from the Giants and it's signed. So I wanted to keep that in there. That's actually my husband's, but it's nice. So I just put it in here. Okay, so for the closet, um, we used to have closet doors on here, but I got rid of them. I figured the curtains would be better. So I got navy curtains. We've got extra diapers. And then I found these bins at the dollar store yesterday gray with the navy detail and I thought that was perfect so I do have another one saved but um for right now I just need the two and I think I just have I think I just have um like his health care kit and then some bottoms that I'm not gonna fit him just yet that I still have to wash so just easy things in there and then this one is pretty heavy I'm not gonna lift it but it's got extra bath products in there and then I have my husband's diaper bag, box of wipes, and then all of his clothes hanging up. Some of the bigger clothes that's not gonna fit him yet, so I just have that in there. A lot of his like jerseys, the Giants, the Mets, just little things like that, that's bigger. I have all these extra hangers. And then here is this little organizer that I got as a gift and I just have a bunch of wipes in here, the packs of wipes, single packages, and I have extra hangers that I got for my shower, and these are like the toddler hanger, the toddler hangers. They're a little bit bigger than the baby ones that I have, so that's why I'm not using those just yet. And then down here I opened up all the boxes of diapers and I just stuck them in this little organizer. And then here, I have this cute little beer basket for his dirty laundry that I got from Amazon. And then there I just have my boppy and the boppy lounger. So that is his closet. It's pretty simple right now. Eventually, you know, things are gonna change. Things will get fuller. What am I dog? <laughs> he is so just chilling here on this chair like he owns it. He likes to look out the window, that's why. Okay, so yeah, that is the closet, and I just have this little rug here that I hauled months ago. I got it from Ross, it was $14.99, it's so adorable. I love the white with the tips colored. It looks like a wolf fur or something like that, but of course it's faux fur, it's not real. Right, Abel? It's not real. <laughs> He's probably wondering, who am I talking to? So yeah, that is the closet, pretty simple that that's pretty much it for the room like here is the other rug this is a bigger one it was $36.99 at Ross and I just love it is super soft and I really love how it's that white with the little tip color on there it's perfect for his room they even had it in a more of like an animal color like a brown with the dark tips but everything else is kind of dark like the crib and the dresser so I just wanted to keep that white that white color scheme as well so this is what the bedroom <laughs> so this is what the bedroom just looks like his nursery I love how it turned out my favorite part of it of course are the mountains I love that part I love the rugs the floors if you saw me mention my other videos, I was waiting to get the floors done. Love those. And yeah, that's pretty much how his room looks. Eventually things will change, you know, once he gets older, once he gets into his toddler stage, we'll switch some things around, but for right now, it's perfect for baby. And I have my little diaper genie in gray, which I love that color. I just haven't filled it up yet. I need to put the bag in there, but I don't know how yet.
But yes, that is everything. Our bags are packed. His car seat is ready. So that is it guys. That is the nursery tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are thinking about doing this theme or color scheme, whatever you're thinking about doing, I love looking at videos for inspiration. So this is how mine's turned out and I love it. And I can't wait to have my little baby boy in this room. Okay, so now that I showed you the room, I just want to go went ahead and put all of his items back in it. I have this swing here. I also have this little play mat that was actually given to me. And so was the swing. I just washed everything. Then I have his bassinet ready to go. This is going to be in my room on my bedside. I got that. And then his stroller is ready. The car seat base is already installed and... This is the car seat and the car seat cover that I chose matches this theme perfectly. So everything is pretty much all set. So I just kind of threw everything in here for now. And that's it. Okay, so my dog is still <laughs> chilling. All right guys, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will See you next time. Bye-bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye-bye.